Today's question is, Anthony, if I'm brand new to fitness, never done anything, where do I start? I got my armor now, no fear, no doubt, can't shoot me down, yeah. I got my armor now, no fear, no doubt, gonna shoot me down, 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 down. I think a lot of people are faced with this question. I want to increase my fitness or do fitness for some reason, but I've never done it before, or I haven't done it for many, many, many years. You know, what's the first thing I should do? And I think it's a great question and something to think about because a lot of people will just kind of jump in, uh, which I, I applaud their uh, initiative um, and encourage, but we want to make sure we're doing something that we can maintain and sustain for a long time. So let's start slow and do what's appropriate and do what's right. The last thing we want is someone to get injured or discouraged or worn down or, or worn out and then give up on this, right? So let's do something that we can encourage people to do. You know, they've done research about like how people make changes in their life and they have to start small. Right, majority of people need something that they they are 90% confident they can do, and they can maintain that habit or that skill long term, and then they'll progress and they'll maintain and stick with it. Okay, so when we think about if you're brand new to fitness, there's really two things to think about fitness-wise. One is capability, which is the ability to move, and then another is capacity which is the ability to do something for a long time or to do a heavy load, all right? So if you can just have a range of motion and can move in a direction, that's capability. But now if you can move some sort of load or weight, you know, multiple times, then that's capacity. And so a lot of people will jump into the capacity, doing something a lot and heavy and moving a lot of load right away before they focus on capability. And so the first place you should start is capability. Let's get someone moving, all right? And I mean, the easiest thing that you can do, I think, for um, fitness-wise is, you know, start walking. And that's what you hear that a lot of organizations and people talk about, let's do some walks. Let's start walking, you know, 20, 30 minutes a day, you know, make people getting those 10,000 steps in or whatever. But just start small, you know, like walk for 20 minutes and get some kind of blood flow. It helps with your lung capacity. But that's kind of where you start. From there, let's add in in some different movements, right? And we want to think about kind of five or six movements that you really want found, that are foundational. One is a press. Imagine you're pushing something away from you, all right? That's a press. We want to do some presses. We want to do some pulls where you're pulling something toward your body, all right? We also want to do something we call uh, like a, a squat pattern. Imagine kind of squatting down nice and low with your shoulders nice and tall and then coming back up. We also want to do a hinge, where now it's like you're picking something off the floor. We push our butt back as far as we can, and then we stand tall and drive those hips forward, all right? So start there, start with capability, range of motion, getting some walking in, and from there we can add capacity, where we're adding difficulty to those movements, or doing them for a lot longer, okay? So if you're brand new, start with capability, Try out some of these movements. If you have questions, let us know. We'd love to help you out. All right? So until next time, move better, train smarter.